Welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to convert numbers in base 8 into base 5. So basically what we are going to do is, first we are going to convert the number in base 8 into base 10. Then thereafter, we are going to convert that number into base 5. So let's get into today's work. Okay, so here on the board we have a question which is convert 6, 7, 1, base 8 into base 5. So, like I said earlier on, we are going first to convert uh, this number into base 10. So, I'll write this number here, okay, then one here. So, what is the place value of 1 in, the, in base 8? So, we are saying it has got 1s, then 7 has the, base as the place value of 8, and 6 has got the place value of 64. Okay, so... Now, since we have identified the place values, what we are going to do now is we are going to multiply this number by its place value, which is 6 by 64, we close bracket, then we say plus, then 7, open bracket, 7 by its place value, which is 8, then we add again 1, 1 by 1, 1 is its place value, okay, then we are going to multiply this one, uh, this one, so it's going to give us 306 by 64, it will give us 384, plus this one will give us 56, then plus 1, okay? So we are saying this one and this one and this one, so this is 10, 11, so we are going to write one here, we carry one. The one we have carried to make 9, 14, so we are going to write 4 here. Then we carry 1, then it's going to be 441. So 671 in base 10 is 441. So now we come here, we want to convert now this number into base 5. Because they have told us to give us the answer, to give the answer in base 5. So what we're going to do, we're going to convert this 441 into base 5. So <clears throat> what we'll do is um, we, we can either choose to use the place value method or the remainder method, whichever is comfortable with you, you can use. So let me go with the, the, the remainder method. Okay. It doesn't mean that remainder is simpler, no, just that I like it. So we are going to put it, five, we are going to put 5 here. Then we are going to say, how many times 5 can go into 441? Okay, so in 400 it will go 80, so it will, it will go 88 times, remainder 1. Remember here, we are putting R and we are showing that that's why we are going to be writing our remainders. Then again, we divide this 88 by 5. It's going to give us 17, remainder 3. Okay. Then we divide 17 by 5. It's going to give us 3, remainder 2. Okay. Then 5 into 3. It's going to go zero times remainder three. Okay. Therefore, we can say. Therefore, we can say. Uh, six. Six seven one base eight is equal to. So now this is the answer. What? So we say equal. Then we get the first three. Then two. Then three, then one. So base five. Then we're going to say three seven one base eight is equal to eight two eight one base five. So <coughs> converting six seven one base eight into base five will give us three two three one base five. Thank you so much for watching.